So here's something interesting. Here's the difference between bad audio and good audio. This is the iPhone audio. And this is the Zoom. So we've got something a little bit different today. It's been raining constantly for a week. We've got a couple of hours now where it's not raining. We've got what, half an hour? We've probably got half an hour. And I'm gonna run around, get some shots of, um, of a macro walk. But instead of me doing like a kind of a story or a tutorial or anything like that with all the B-roll and the music, this is gonna be a macro photography raw video. You're gonna see it as it is in real life with the good and the bad images. We're just gonna go around for half an hour and gonna take you along for the ride. It's almost like a virtual macro walk where you would come with me. So the first thing we need to do is to find some insects and there's, a, um, there's not that many out because it's wet, it's been raining. So we'll talk about the camera, shall we? So typically when I'm in an area, it doesn't matter if I'm new to the area or not, I'm not intending to go out to get high magnification stacks. Those all depend on the subject that you find. So typically I'll come out with my Olympus or the Canon, it doesn't matter which one, and I'll be at one tuned of a second. On the Olympus, I'm gonna set my aperture to F10. That's pushing the boat for diffraction just a little bit, but we can get away with that. ISO 200 and my flash is on TTL. Now, if we do come across a subject that is not moving, is cooperative, we will quickly switch it to a focus bracketing mode and try and get a stack. But for this particular video, we're just doing single shot images. Well, let's see what we can find, shall we? While I do that, I'll check my audio. This is all the stuff you don't see when we're doing videos, is the audio check and all that stuff. Right, primarily, what I wanna do is try and identify an area that has crab spiders. Everybody on Instagram is posting images of crab spiders. I haven't even found one this season, so we're gonna see if we can find some. to just be my luck to find one when it starts to rain. Also on a side note, I also have a couple of my textures in my pocket, so I can quickly whip them out, put them in the background without having to mess around. Distinct lack of insect compared to the other day. It's not as hot though, is it? Yeah. We've got caterpillars, seed them off caterpillars they are. Um, they look a bit frail, don't they? <laughs> they look like they haven't eaten anything for a week. They look like me. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, Dad's we're not really going to get much out of this, but I'm going to turn the autofocus on and um, just get a snapshot, basically. Get a snapshot with ugly black background. So, what colour shall we go with? Ooh, 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 hold on. Ugh. What did I just spot down here? What have I just spotted? Oh, it's coming this way. We've got a spider of some sort. He's going the other way. Let's see if I can get him to turn round. Stop. <coughs> oh man, he's gone the other way. <coughs> yeah, we're a little bit dark. I'm going to bump the ISO up to 400 get away with that on this camera quite easily. Particularly with modern denoise software, you okay? Let's see how close, oh, I can't get that close, can I? It keeps running off. Man, I can smell dog shit, don't I? I probably am, I didn't look, did I? No. Right. So I'm going to let him come over to the um, the path here because at the moment he's on the path. 
bit more dude, you're gonna get run over there when the cyclists come. That's better. I'm definitely wet now though. You can see I'm using autofocus as well. You can use autofocus. Works okay on this camera. I like the Canon. <laughs> the Canon will hunt around everywhere at one to one. At one to one on this camera, it actually works. Although well, finding the spider is quite hard. Oh man, there's, there's a blade of grass in front of him. Oh, he's on the move again. I'll try and get a bloody spot. Starting to rain. That's okay. <coughs> right, so normally I try not to interfere with the subjects, but because he's on the path, I'm giving him a good nudge. Because if he stays where he is, he's going to die. Go on. A bit more. A bit more. And I bet when you woke up this morning, you didn't think you'd be babysitting a spider across a path, would you? Yeah, he should be fine where he is now. Let's go, let's go. Right, that's my good deed done for the day, isn't it? You don't, want his, you don't want his picture taken. Every time I focus, he's moving. So what's happened here then? Yeah. <coughs> okay, now we've taken the entire plant, haven't they? find out, won't we? It's a bit of a mess down here though. See these flowers, I would have thought would have been a nice spot for a crab spider. We've got a um, hoverfly. I'll get a picture of him. Nope, he flew off. That's typically what happens to 50% of your subjects, they just fly off. Not much out today, to be honest with you. There. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Let's have a look at it. So when you've got cases like this, I'm just taking pictures for reference. I'm not taking a picture for my portfolio. Um, to be fair, I'd have to have that in a studio to get a decent shot of it, but I don't know what it is. I'll take a picture of it, we'll ID it later. At least then we know what's in the area. Oh, a bit of Pornhub on the go there, look. Oh, there's, there's, there's two. Two doing the Pornhub dance. couple of reference photos. Nothing artistic I'm seeing out of these ones, to be honest with you. So again, I'll leave them alone, I don't mess around. <coughs> oh, I've got some here, what have we got here? Right, let's turn the autofocus off, it's getting quite close.
Yeah, I can't get them. Yeah, we've got a ladybird. I'm just waiting for the ladybird to come up. Which it decided not to. <laughs> it was heading up to the top of the flower and then all of a sudden it just stopped. It's now it's underneath the flower. Now it's going down. Now it's coming up. It's like a teenager, it can't make his bloody mind up. Here we go. Go on, a bit more, you can do it dude. No he didn't, he went back down. Yeah, oh, he's back up again. This guy doesn't know what he wants, whether he's coming or going. I'll get one of them while I'm at it. Now he's gone back down again. We've got a bee drying off. No way I'm getting a shot of him. Looks like they've been caught out in the rain, you know, because they're all drying off from the look of it. Can you get in here with this bee? It's on the stalk just there, look, see it. So that bee's drying off. There's one just above it coming up here as well. That one looks like it's a honeybee. There's no way I'm getting a shot of that, not in the middle of those flowers. He's, um, he's just, if you come right up top, he's just inside there. You might be able to see it on the video. Yeah, he's just inside there. I might be able to focus on his head, but the light probably won't hit him from the flash because of all the flowers in the way. We'll have a look. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting a shot of him. Oh. Yeah, I physically can't see him to get the shot. So again, we leave him alone, we're not going to touch him, we're not going to mess around. Like I said, when I'm in the studio, I don't mind manipulating everything about the shot. The subject, the background, the scene that it's on, I, I don't care, it's in the studio. When I'm out in the wild, I try not to mess around with it. Unless we're in the morning and the insects are asleep, that way you can get away with moving their position. But on Situation like this in the daytime, I just don't bother messing around with them. Which is also gratifying when you find a subject in a good position and you're able to get a really nice photo. What's that beetle, same as the last ones? I mean, I try and get, try and get him and get the uh, the flowers in the background. I'm actually too close. Those beetles don't really tickle my fancy when it comes to artistic insect shots, to be honest with you. Again, we're looking for crab spiders. Which I don't think we're going to find any, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Where? Actually, I'm... Oh, no, I've got something on his web. I can't even see a web. Oh, well, yeah, that's not a crab spider. I don't think crab spiders have webs, do they? I don't think they do. Bit of porn hub action on the go. Boring shot though. One way to dry out, hey? One way to dry out. That's true, it is one way to dry out. Ah, we'll leave it at that. 
Let's have a quick go around because we're running out of time. Oh, we've got another V drying out, look. See? If I can bring that around. I'll put my card in the background, obviously. And these cards are laminated as well, so they're waterproof. So that's pretty cool. He's a big fella, isn't he? Back it off a little bit. You mean like my wife? Yeah. See, this would be a case of focus stacking. You know, I want to reduce my um, my f-stop so that the background's blurred, but I don't want to lose the depth of field. Unfortunately, he's moving, so we can't focus stack him. What we got? Big massive spider. That's a wolf spider, what look of it. They can be quite nasty them things can. So I ain't getting anywhere near him because the web starts here and he's all the way at the back. But we might be able to get a uh, a wide angle shot of him. Yeah, that's as close as I'm going to get, I think. Yeah, there's no need to be destroying his rib just to get a picture, is there? Right then. What else have we got? Time, is it? I don't know. What about that one? Oh, where's he gone? There's a hoverfly right there. As soon as you come over, he goes. Yeah. That's typically the way it goes. Like I said, that's often the way it goes with macro, you know, he just putting up your camera and they can fly off. Particularly in the day, this is why I always recommend you go out early in the morning. When I say early, I mean three, four o'clock in the morning, just as the sun's coming up. All your insects are asleep. They're not gonna fly away when you bring your camera up and you can manipulate them like you can in the studio, which is great. We've got a big ass fly here, look. We won't be using a macro mode on them. So I'm gonna go with a shot of him without the background because I think as soon as I start talking, it'll fly off. <laughs> he was definitely a teenager, he was. The second he heard take a shot, he's like, gone. <laughs> See you later, birdie. Oh, we got a ladybird. Where? It's gone up there, is it? Oh, I got a ladybird, I don't know. Oh, Tanya, baby. Look, oh, see, my background cards can be put on the floor because I've laminated them. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I need to set my fan. It's a very, very small ladybird. You're not in a good position for a photo though. Could you put that down for two seconds? Bring that card up behind me. Sorry guys, you're not going to see this, but I'll show you the uh, end result. Okay, put it behind. There we go, that's better. Yep. Okay. So again, he's not in a good position for an artistic shot, so it's more of a snapshot. But more importantly, we're outdoors doing some photography for once in between the rain shows that we've been getting. So we'll carry on, have a look what else we've got. However, if you do want to see a nice cooperative ladybird shot, I'll put one on the screen now that I did a couple of weeks ago. This is a focus stack of 33 shots of a ladybird done in this exact location.
not too much out today because it's wet. And the, the insects, they know when it's going to rain as well. So generally, if it's going to rain, they go, they all just start tucking in and hiding. Oh, got another hoverfly, hey? Squirrel. Got an ant nest. The hoverfly, which I don't think he's going to let me take a picture because I can't even get close to the guy. Yeah, the second I lifted the camera up, he was there. I'm also standing on an ant nest. I used to be scared of ants, you know. Especially the red ones. I used to hate them things. Still no crab spiders, though. Nope. Nothing. Uh, porn hub. We've got enough shots of porn hub for action, haven't we? So. Knock it. You got too close. Check this yellow flower here and see if there's anything. Where are all the crab spiders? When we first started YouTube, this place was full of crab spiders, wasn't it? No, you can't, yeah, you can't even find one now. Yeah, because I'm after a bloody picture of one, that's why. I'll just disappear. <clears throat> I think it's going to start raining, by the, judging by the, uh, the lack of insects that are about. Oh, green bottle fly. Big ass bumblebee. You know the type that you don't need a macro lens for. Again, not a brilliant shot, it's much more of a snapshot, but still having fun. You pass me my card. Actually, let me use a different one. Use the bright yellow card. So I'm in position waiting for him, but if you don't come my way, I won't get a shot. Which at the moment is not coming my way. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't coming this way. I'm going to take a picture just so you can see it at least. Yeah, that's better. Who says fat can't be pretty? <sighs> Joke, okay? <laughs> Before you even start. No, I, I did not. I wasn't even mentioning you. What the hell was that? Couldn't get this thing. What is that thing? It's got a sting on it, ain't you? I've no idea. Right, what again. I don't know. But again, we've got something new I've not seen before. So I'm going to take a really wide shot of it so as I can ID it. He's ugly. So in this case, no artistic shot, I'm just taking shots for reference. Kevin's having trouble focusing on it. There we go. In his position, I'm not going to get a shot of him in his position. He's upside down. My camera's going to have to be like this to get a shot of it. Do you know what I mean? You never know. <laughs> it might come out, I don't know. But we ain't got time to stop about, have we? So, if you've gotten this far, then I'm assuming you're pretty much a fan of the channel. 
I will apologise in advance. I got a lot of reviews coming up, particularly lights. I don't know why I agreed to them. I did. I've got to do them. But hey ho, it is what it is. We need the reviews to keep the channel going. So I do apologise for those in advance. But if you did get this far, click the uh, thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done already. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos out in the field like this. If you have enjoyed this particular video of this photography war, almost like you're coming along with me on a macro walk, then let me know in the comments below and I will do maybe say once a week, or should we say once every two weeks we'll do a video like this. I'm waiting for permission off the wife. Because the old board and chain's in charge. Once a week you say? I'll hold you to that then. The audience will hold you to that, okay? Yeah, but uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put up some images now of this macro walk as well as a previous macro walk that we did, but my microphone cut out because I dropped it. I'm going to put those on the screen now. And all these images have been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets. Check the link in the description if you want to purchase my presets and help support the channel. That's where I'm going to leave this particular macro walk, a very, very quick one. A 100% genuine look at what it is actually like to do macro photography out in the field. Again, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below, but that's where I shall leave this video. Well, thank you for getting to the end of this particular one. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.